All right, good morning, everybody. Chris Del Disc off here. Uh, please ignore the little top of the basket. My tripod still broke. I thought I fixed it, and I brought it out this morning, and immediately the little top clip popped off when I tried to uh, attach my phone to it. So, anyway, uh, I'm just gonna order a new one. That's all I'm gonna do. But I'm out here this morning. It's like 23 degrees, but you know, I just love to throw, so I'm coming out no matter what the weather is. Um, but I've kind of changed up my field routine, uh, my field work routine, the way I've been doing my field work. You know, you've seen some of my past videos where I pretty much go out to an open field, um, work on hyzer and hyzer, and I think all of that is great, but I also think that's limited me because what I try to do every single time I'm out there, even though on my way out there, I say, I'm not going to do this, I'll still do it. And that's, I go out there and try to throw from, for distance every single shot i'm trying to throw every disc i got as far as i can i think because that's a par four hole that i usually play on and i know the ideal landing spot and i know where a really good drive should go and a crush should go so i end up going out there and just throwing as hard as i can and i think by the end of that session i've got so far off my timing because i'm putting so much into it trying to get that extra 10 or 15 feet so something new that i've started and I started this yesterday morning when I come out here is kind of like a safari field work. Meaning, for instance, right now I'm at Trail of Tears. I got my phone on the basket of hole uh, 15. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw to hole 11's basket, which is maybe 150, 175 from here. But I'm going to throw four, five, six discs at it, you know, turnover shot, a hyzer, uh i've even actually been working on a lot of forehands lately i've actually got my forehand up to about 175 200 which is huge for me um but yeah that's kind of my new routine and then after i throw from this basket to that basket i'll pick another spot it may be a tee pad it may be a tree or something in around that 150 to 250 distance and then i try different shots at that target um, I think this is going to better prepare me for different courses that I play uh, Looking being on the fairway somewhere and seeing a spot. I need to hit it may not always be a basket It may be a spot. It may be a placement shot And I think this is really going to help me learn what discs will do what in those situations Versus just throwing everything as hard as I can out in the field now I'm still gonna go out to the field, you know, probably at least once a week maybe once every seven or eight days um and and throw for distance and really work on that pull through speed and stuff like that but for i guess real life uh scoring play i think this is going to help me out i think it's going to teach me to stay a little slower because i'm not trying to throw full power every time i'm working on my placement uh, i'm working on different discs i'm looking at different uh scenarios so yeah um I'm going to turn the camera around on a couple of the baskets and show some shots. Probably not going to be as good uh, quality as some of my other videos just because I don't have a tripod. Not that any of my other videos are like stellar quality, but, but you get what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to turn this around and uh, throw a few at this basket. So here's hole 15's basket and I'm going to be throwing down there to 11's basket. So I went back Truth Heiser around the tree and buzzed straight at it. Now I'm going to try a vandal on a forehand. A little out of my range for what I've been practicing forehands. <sighs> try it again. One more forehand.
not the greatest forehands, but considering that I've really only been throwing them a couple of days now. Um, long time ago, I threw all forehands, but I was terrible. And I've just never felt comfortable with it. So I've been really practicing a lot of mids and stuff the last couple of days and just really slow. Kind of like you always hear when you're starting off backhand, a new beginner, give them a putter, give them a mid. I've been doing that with my forehands for uh, two or three days now. And I've started throwing a couple of fairways up in there, but I'm just trying to get that wrist pop and that, that comfort and making sure I follow through. All right, so now I'm on hole 13's basket. Uh, I'm going to throw it a hole 12's basket. The basket's right around there. Uh, right behind that basket, about 20 feet, it drops off into a creek. Anything going to that creek right now is lost because of the water being up. I'm just going to take my P3X and practice a little soft up shot. Alright, I'm going to throw one. I'm going to throw one forehand with my vandal. Another forehand vandal. And buzz forehand. I don't know if uh, the angles I'm getting with the camera are going to be that great, but anyway. All right, that's it for this video today. Uh, I tried to set the camera up in a few more spots, and you just couldn't really see anything. So I'm going to end this video today. Um, something else I want to mention is I changed my grip, keep a little more nose down and, um, I'm, I'm going to put a video and show you all the difference. I'll probably do that tomorrow. Something I can do just sitting in my car. Um, anyway, new tripod coming and I can get back to showing some shots where you can actually see me throw the disc. If you don't care, hit the like button, subscribe and, uh, keep up with my content until then. Go out and have fun throwing discs.